So I got it done, guys. Look, this is a shawl I recently made. It only took me about, what, two weeks? When was my last video? I showed this when I started it. But the pattern is called Parallel. I tend to call it Parallel Lines because I keep thinking back to my youth and the old Blondie album. <laughs> but look at it. I think it turned out great. I saw that little handle idea in a different video, and I thought this was the perfect project to do that with because now what that does is make this a, a shawl that I would wear as opposed to something that just looks pretty in the closet because I don't have to be fussing with it falling off my shoulders. What do you think guys? What do you think? So here I am. I'm back at Joanne. Since I finished my shawl, I'm now itching to, to crochet still. I looked through my stash and my stash isn't really worthy of any projects. I found this beautiful video for um, a shawl that I've never tried the style before, so I kind of want to do it. And But I've been struggling as to what kind of yarn I want to get. So these are the ones that caught my eye. I have looked over everything here, and what I'm really liking about these, really almost these more, is the thickness. I like them thicker like this. I don't want to have to double strand it. And as pretty as I think this color is, I just don't know that this is going to be thick enough for what I want to do. So I'm considering these. I kind of like this. What even, what color do you call this? It's almost it's a slight green undertone, very pale. You know, I, I like that because it's very neutral, but it's very cool toned, so I'm not sure. My second favorite is, um, oh, isn't that pretty? Not my color though. This is my color, that blue green color, you know? And I, you know, I always buy it and I just, I feel sometimes like I gotta try something different. Like, honestly, I love, let me tell you something about dark yarns. These dark yarns are awesome. Everyone loves a good black sweater, right? But you want to know the truth is black yarn, dark yarn is is awful to work with because all you see is one solid mass of color. It's hard to identify strand by strand. Whereas when you work, that, that one's not the worst, but like this one here, it's hard to see what's what when you're crocheting. It all becomes just a blend. Whereas the different colors, it's easy to see what you're doing. This might not be bad. But I don't know that I want to go with something so dark because I have so much dark stuff to begin with. So you know what? As I sit here and talk, it's going to end up being this one here. You'll see me at home soon crocheting my next project with this. So my next dilemma is how many do I buy? So I grabbed three of them, but these are really big. And so I'm worried, or nah, it's a strong word, concerned if it's going to be too much or too much or not enough. Am I going to be upset if I get four rolls? How much is that going to cost I me? did it! Lana did it! What Lana's getting is Lana's getting some paints, and she's getting a kitty cat. What else? She, oh, I a see. A black cat. A black cat. Lana was going for Halloween. She's a bat, A Halloween bat. A Halloween bat and... A pumpkin. A pumpkin. Perfect. Should I get three or four? If You know what? I'm better off getting extra, because if I have... Look, they only have two more left, guys. I'm going. I'm going to take all of them because um, that's just how I do it. I would rather have way too much excess and say, "Oh my gosh, what am I going to do with leftovers?" And then maybe make someone a gift. Are we all done? Yes. Do you want to look at anything else? Yes. Well. Okay, so I find this kind of funny, so I'm gonna show you. Um, this, I'm in the clearance section here at Joann's, right? And all the yarn, all the yarn that they have on clearance here is wool. It's all wool. You wanna know why I'm finding, why this is so funny to me? Because a lot of us shoppers here are middle-aged, right? Which means we're going through menopause. 
and nobody wants to buy wool. <laughs> so I decided to do something different with the yarn. Uh, just as a close-up, this is what I chose at uh, Joann's here. I love this yarn, but this is a very a warm, heavy yarn. Uh, this is actually something that would be better for a fall project, you know. D but um, let me show you the pattern, though, that I was working on. Because I did start it, and I am going to complete it here. Let's pull away some of that stuff. But so you can see um, that pattern was a hexagon shape. And that's what I liked about it. Because I liked the way that it draped around uh, her body in that photo I showed you. If you're a crocheter, the link is in the description. Um, but I like this, but it is very, very thick. And so I don't know that this is what I want to work on right now. This, uh, you know, we'll see. Not not today, though. I'm going to put this aside. And when I went shopping with Lana earlier, I grabbed a different yarn. I wanted something that was lighter. This is what I went with. Um, this one here, as you can see, is a very thick yarn. Whereas this one here is a lot thinner there we go you could kind of see there this is a little oops sorry this is a lot thinner and what i like about the thinner yarn versus um this thicker yarn here is the way it's going to drape over my body i like when things drape over and has a nice flow to it on your shoulders and i really think this is going to be the one this is kind of stepping out of the box for me, to be honest. I love blue and green combinations, but I rarely ever buy anything green. I always go toward blues and blacks and grays. And so this was me stepping out of my box. And I'm happy I did because I do need to, you know, add some variety. This is a very, very easy pattern. Um, if you're, <laughs> I'm, I'm so tickled I started this. You start with just a circle of six chains and then it's two crochet two chains two cro double crochets two chain two double crochets and then it just keeps building out and it creates this fabulous um hexagon shape but this is where i just did this uh, this took me just a few minutes i came home and i had to work on it right away and i thought i but i you guys need to see where i'm at as soon as i finish a project i need to start another one i get really restless when i'm relaxing and watching tv i like to do things with my hands Okay, guys, I heard a cat meowing, and I had to come out here because my cat ran away, oh, jeez, about four or five months ago. And so when I hear noises, I come and look. He's an outdoor cat now. There's no way he'd come back anyway, but long story long. Um, I, I, I turn around, I look this way, I don't see anything, and, and I know how to take in the big view because I lived in, you know, Michigan, in the cornfields. I saw a lot of deer, and I could spot them all, like nothing in the distance. You know, you get the eyes for it, and I scan the area, and I see nothing, and I come over this way, and I realize as I'm looking around that I'm hearing it on TV, but then I notice this thing down here, and I'm like, what the heck is that? That is very unusual. This is usually just, you know, nothing back here. Once in a while, people move or walk their pets back here. So let me see if I can get a good focus on that. I don't know. What do you think? Got any ideas, guys?
It's Thursday. It's lunchtime. It's a gorgeous day. The, the, the skies are bright blue. It, they said it could get up to 79 degrees. You know, and this is mid-March, so I'm really excited about that. But in the second breath, we have some heavy storms coming in overnight. So I'm taking advantage of my lunch hour right now, and I'm gonna go down here and do a little bit of weeding, cause that's all there is, it's just a little bit. And I'd rather get those weeds out right now before they get some healthy energy from the rain. Here is an update of the highest since I tried, I saved from last spring to this year. Um, I've wintered them outside. We had a really warm spell in January and I noticed that they started to bloom. Well, of course the weather snapped back and got cold and now I'm not seeing any action one way or another. So I don't know what's gonna happen with these.